Welcome to another video on Keyclock Identity and Access Management System. In this short video, I am talking about identity providers. Let's get into the content. As the first step, we need to learn what is an identity provider. According to the definition given by Wikipedia, an identity provider is a system entity that manages identity information for principals and also provides authentication services to rely on applications. We can clarify this statement by understanding the functionalities of an identity provider. An identity provider manages the identity of information of principals. A principal can be a user or a system which can be authenticated by the identity provider. Identity information contains detail such as username, password, emails and so on. These information are used for authentication and authorization purposes. Also, an IDP provides the authentication service for Reliant Parties. Reliant Party can be any application which is integrated with the identity provider through protocols like OpenID Connect or SAML. These are the two major functionalities of an identity provider. In addition to these things, identity providers have many features for authentication and authorization purposes. If you are interested in these things, you can find more about them on internet. Here I have included few popular identity providers. Google and Facebook are social identity providers. Auth0, Okta and Azure Active Directory can be introduced as cloud identity providers. WSO2 Identity Server, Ping Federate and Keyclock can be introduced as on-premises identity providers. In addition to these identity providers, there exist many more IDPs. You can find them on internet. Now I will explain how to connect an external identity provider to Keyclock. For that, I am switching to the admin console. I am going to the identity providers section. Here I click the add identity provider drop down. Here you can see a number of connectivity methods. If you want to connect your identity provider using SAML or OpenID Connect, you need to select SAML 2.0 or OpenID Connect. If your identity provider is also a Keyclock server, you can select Keyclock OpenID Connect. Otherwise, you can select many other social identity providers such as Google, Facebook, GitHub and so on. Once the required connection type selected, you can do the necessary configurations and integrate the identity provider successfully. If you want to know about how to connect a Keyclock server as an identity provider, you can check my video about Keyclock identity brokering. I have put the link in the description area. Time to time I will upload videos about how to integrate a Keyclock with different identity providers. If you have any question, please put them in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. With that, we come to the end of this video. Also, please keep in your mind, this is a very basic introduction to the identity providers. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.